Planet Earth was once a place hustling and bustling with life until coronavirus arrived. People were quarantined, fascinated, told to wear masks, and learn about social distancing in order to survive and stay healthy. That's right, I've been talking this whole time. My name is Matthew B. Lamont. This is my show. Oh, do you see that? My glasses slumped. This is crazy. This is nuts. People compare this show to Rick and Morty. It's nothing like that show. It's like comparing the fat blue man who gets annoyed by Grover to Oscar the Grouch. Oscar is a grouch who trolls people. The fat blue man doesn't. He's just a tortured soul. Hello, I'm Matthew B. Lamont and welcome to Trailer Reaction Videos. Today, we're going to look at the third season of Solar Opposites. It's an adult cartoon by the creators of Rick and Morty and it premiered on Hulu two years ago. I, I'm watching the first season, didn't see the second season, but I heard the show is good. And now time for the third season. I can't wait to see it. Let's look at the teaser. <laughs> Friggin' awesome. ET sucks. Go back to your rain. We can make people like us. Oh my god. I have legs. These are the kind of hard to control. You're welcome. Sick AF. What could go wrong? Solar opposites are going to jail. Next level ship. <laughs> so, that looks like fun. And I know that Hulu is a creation of 20th Century Fox. 20th Century Fox is owned by Disney. And there's a possibility that there's going to be something like a Hulu land there, so... I wish that is real. I wish there was there was there was a solar opposites themed cafe, and I just noticed something: the T Rex eating up the guy, eating up Corvo. Corvo turned into a train. And it's moving Thomas the Tank Engine. It's a spoof of Thomas the Tank Engine. So, get ready for pop culture references this summer, July thirteenth. Solar opposites. So this is Matthew Beelmont saying, "Have a nice day." Don't forget to like and subscribe, and comment down below. Wait, wasn't that the other way around? Whatever.